Good morning. This is Karen from Vintage Elegance Inspiration. Today I am sharing with you my first design team project for Sheila at Boho Daydreams. I was given a pink package, my favorite, and I came up with the idea to do these cute little tag books, tag journals, whatever they're called. This is my version of it. And I combined it with some Christmas theme that will unfold as we go along. So these are quite simple to make. I used a lot of mixed media. I followed her sweet pea design tag concept. And I know she has separate videos on those. If you'd like to watch them, just look up her channel, which I will link below. And so there were many layers in the preparation of these tags. They are four by six, the index cards that she recommends. So they're thicker and they are able to uh, absorb liquid a lot better. So I began doing gesso as the primer and then paint, acrylic paint and Mod Podge, the decoupage and the various elements on this side of the tags. The flip side is gonna be the surprise when I turn them over. So I'm going to start with this little one. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned already, they each have eight tags in them. And what I did was I incorporated some of the uh, um, products that she already sent me in their, their original condition because they just went so perfectly with the theme that I came up with. And the others I deconstructed a bit and then reused them. So I will point them out as we go. I've got a gold uh, binder ring that I've used as the the holder or the keeper. These can be taken apart, they can be used individually, they can be journaled on the front or the back, add a little tag and go from there. And I have the, um, what do you call it? Distressed the sides and used Distress ink to make them look a little bit more aged. So we've got a little charm dangle here and some crinkled seam binding. This is some of Sheila's beautiful, I'm assuming it's vintage lace. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then her vintage wallpaper. And I've added some of my own vintage lace to the side. So that is the cover of this one. And then this is the next piece. And this is one that I left original as she sent it to me and just attached it to the top of this tag because I thought it was so perfect. I've used some of her handmade avocado dyed paper at the bottom, some of my vintage lace, added uh, toppers to each one. And this one is just so sweet. I'm in love with it. I've got some vintage book page here and vintage lace from my stash. This is just a very simple tag. And then this one is using her, the napkin that she provided for me to use. And I've ju just decoupaged it on top of the sweet pea tag. Added a vintage doily, some crinkled seam binding, and these beautiful pink pearl vintage buttons to the top. Another piece of her beautiful, beautiful lace. I've seen this in quite a few of her velvet package, velvet and lace packages that she puts out and some of her vintage wallpaper. Amazing to work with, it's gorgeous. Doesn't distress so easily on the side as thinner vintage wallpaper, what I've found, but I love the effect, it's so beautiful. This is another simple one. I've just used some of her avocado dyed handmade paper and die cut an oval, embossed oval on here with the um, decoupage napkin, paper napkin. And this is one of her swatches that I took apart and added some of my vintage lace and a piece of her velvet that was left over from the other tag book that I made. 
and just incorporated it as a page in this little folio or journal or booklet. This also was a piece that she gave me and I hand sewed these vintage buttons onto the button card, some beautiful antique French lace on the side in a ruffle and then I just adhered it to the tag base, added some fluffy fibers and that's the last page. And then what you do is you turn it over and it becomes Pink Christmas. I've added a little bulb pin with one of her beautiful bead dangles and a little Christmas jingle bell. So if you just go through it like this, it becomes two-sided or reversible with these pretty pink Christmas, pink Christmas digitals that I've had for a while. I'm in love with them, They're just so sweet. So again, you could journal on the backs of those very easily or add a label and your to and from journal right here and this image. So that was my design concept was to make them reversible. That was booklet number one and this is number two. Here I used her velvet, her silk velvet, which she makes bundles out of and just ruffled it together with my hands and attached it with some adhesive and then topped it with her beautiful rose gold pearl and um, sequin trim. I love the netting on the side. It just veils the sweet pea tag underneath it in the decoupage napkin. And I've added one of my pieces of vintage bling that I in, I'm in love with. Um, it's rather bulky, so I was thinking to put it on a journal. It would make it pretty, pretty um, dimensional, which is beautiful, but not so practical. But I, in a tag book, I thought this was just very clever. I was so pleased with how it turned out. And moving on to the next page is her business card, her, her spool. She is available at by email scoghill4 at gmail.com or you can send her a direct message through Messenger. Some fibers at the top. And then this next one is her avocado dyed handmade paper that I have embossed on. It embosses beautifully. Such a beautiful matte texture and soft. It's just amazing. And then I had cut one of the other trims and just added it to the bottom of this tag. So basically these two really look sweet together, I think. A music sheet, vintage music sheet with some of my vintage lace for a simple tag. And this is another piece of her gorgeous vintage wallpaper. It really looks antique. When I opened it up, it was quite glossy. And all I did was just layer some uh, veiled lace on here with the gold um, champagne gold uh, threads, metallic threads in there. This is some of Sheila's beautiful velvet trim in the one inch and just added a little topper with some fluffy stuff for interest. So that is that one. The image on here is a bird. So I kind of just thought of, you know, partridge in a pear tree kind of thing. And this is her beautiful vintage lace. And I've threaded two strands of crinkled seam binding through it, the insert lace, and then a, a torn piece of her vintage wallpaper. Finishes that card off nicely. Another one of her swatch cards that I um, just took apart and only used the one piece in here. And it's just a flip up where you can write on underneath. And the last page in this sweet little tag book is the um, decoupaged paper napkin <clears throat> and a piece of her beautiful uh, metallic thread embroidered trim that I just love to use. So darling. And flip it over, we have our Christmas side, our pink Christmas side, which is these beautiful digitals. 
I'll just flip through them so you can have a look. The back side of the these lace swatch card. And again, these are just ready to go if you want to use them as gift tags. Some uh, Christmas music. December. And her business card. Gorgeous angel on the front. What I also wanted to say was, if you're fairly new to the junk journaling world, these are not technically junk. I mean, vintage and antique is precious. We we all treasure those things. But the whole world of journaling is amazing. And if you are overwhelmed at all the possibilities of what you can make and what you can do, this is a really good project to start on is just do some tags. Make five or ten tags. You can embellish them as much or as little as you would like. Put a ring, bind a ring in the top, and you've got a mini journal. They would be a quick gift to give somebody, like to make and gift to somebody. So this is my suggestion for you. As you can see, there are eight tags in each book, so that's 16 tags, double-sided with the pink Christmas on the back. I hope this gives you some great ideas. And I want to say thank you to Sheila so much for having the confidence in me to create something with your beautiful, beautiful products. Thank you for sending them to me. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving week as well as a lead into the Christmas season. Have a great day. Bye for now.